I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, there's a link in the video description below. That will get you started with the fundamentals. Also download this player reference so that you can learn the scoring. For Mahjong competition rules, you have to have eight points to even qualify to win. There are 81 scoring elements, also called fawn. That's why I practice with random pulls and solitaire. It's a great way to study. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to identify Fawn and see how we can get each player to that eight point minimum. Don't forget to download that quick reference so that you can follow along and study yourself. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. We have four cracks, four bams, four dots, single honors. Honors are wins and dragons. Maybe we could try mixed straight. Mixed straight is number 39 one two three in one suit four five six in a second suit seven eight nine in a third suit eight points here's a one two four five six and a eight nine we can chow chow so we need more score we could maybe get rid of the honors no honors is actually a fawn number 76 one point Let's see what happens. We'll discard these. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as South. We have a flower. Flowers cannot be included in your eight point minimum. We do get a replacement though. Five crack. So we have two dots, three bams, four cracks, pair of dragons, and a single wind, single white dragon, pair of fives. We have a four, five, four, five, a two, two, Four, five, six. Let's discard the two bam. If we can get a one crack or a three crack, maybe we could do a mixed straight here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pung, pair. One, two, three, four, five blocks. Let's start by discarding here and see what happens. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Five cracks with a pair, three bams, one dot, wins, including a pair. So we have two pair mixed suits. This is west seat, east is the wind of the round. So this won't bring us two points. We could get one point if we pung for a pung of honors. 
that would be one point. That fawn is number 73, one point. So we need more. Maybe half flesh. That's going to be a long road to haul. We have one, two, three blocks. Potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, isolated. Let's start by discarding the one, four, two. If we pair up the seven, we could maybe do double pung. Double pung is number 65, two points. We would lose points for not having a half flesh. Half flesh is number 50, six points. I'm kind of thinking we should just discard these offsuit tiles, go for half flesh. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. Five dots, two bams, three cracks, no pairs, singles. I wonder if we could do something knitted with all those singles. Lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34, 12 points. 147, 258, 369. 147, 258. Here's 258. We do have a 3, 9, and a 5 here. Let's just see what happens. We might be able to do lesser honors and knitted tiles because we have a a two and a four, a nine. We have some representation in each suit. The strongest right here, two, five, eight, one, four, seven, three, six, nine. Single winds and dragons. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. One, two, three, four, five discards. That's not too bad for a 12 point plan. Let's just see what happens. I think for a plan B, we could maybe do outside hand instead. Outside hand, one, two, three discards, but we have a lot of singles and only one potential chow, two potential chows. There's actually a potential here for uh, two terminal chows. So let's first look at outside hand, number 55, that's four points. So we would need points elsewhere. Two terminal chows is number 72. That's a one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and one suit. That's one point. So we would only have five points. We would need three more. Maybe a terminal pung. Terminal Pung would be number 73, one point. This is not a valued honor, but the dragons, if we pair up in Pung, that would be two points. So we're kind of in between outside hand plus a few other a la carte fawn and lesser honors and knitted tiles. Let's just see what comes in. We'll take it pick by pick for this player. So we're gonna start by discarding here. Here we were gonna do a mixed straight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We were gonna discard the honors for no honor fawn. East. Nobody can take the east. Nine bam, we paired up. We have one, two pair, three pair now. Okay, I think we were gonna discard this two bam. Two bam. Maybe all pung, dragon pung, that'll be eight points. Two bam, nobody can take it. Seven crack. Okay, we have chow potential. 
Half flush, I think, is what we were going to try. Let's discard one bam. Nobody can take it. We'll draw. Seven dot. So we have two, five, eight. We really don't need this five if we're going to do lesser honors. And if we go with outside hand, you don't need fives or the four for that matter. Five bam. Five bam. We're good here. Let's draw. Flower. Eight bam. There's a pair. We always got to have a pair. Let's discard red dragon. Nobody can take the red. We'll draw. Four crack, another pair. Let's go for all pung. We have one, two, three, four pair. Pung, 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 pung. We need a pair in here still. We have a four, five. Here's a four, five. Let's discard seven bam. Drawing up here. Six bam. We want cracks. East was thrown. We have a pair of north. I think we're closest to a half flush. We have a six seven and a six seven. We don't have that representation in dots. Let's stick with discarding bams since we threw a one bam before we'll just let our opponents guess what suit we're in one uh, four bam four bam we're good to go drawing flower nine bam okay i think let's see here Two five eight one four seven three six nine. We really don't need the four. If we're doing two five eight one four seven three six nine, we don't need this four. Either way, I was also thinking that maybe we could play outside hand with a la carte fawn to get up to eight points. Let's discard four crack. Because with outside hand, you can't use a four crack. They have to be one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, or pungs of honors. Or no, yeah, that's outside hand. So let's see what happens. Four crack was thrown. Down here, we're going to pung. Pung. First pung down. East was thrown. Let's discard that. This will be a good discard. We need cracks. Nope. Four bam. Red dragon. Outside hand. I think we should switch to outside hand, dragon pung, or half flush. We have one, two, three potential chows. One, two, three, four. All we need is a pair. Let's discard two crack. We could still maybe play outside hand, but a half flush is six points. Dragon pung is two. And we have one, two, three, four blocks. All we need is another dot or pair up one of those. Two crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine dot. We were trying maybe for mixed straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
we have fewer cracks than anything else so let's discard five crack get rid of those early since the player here has an exposure with cracks we're going to pong and they were set up before we discarded unknowingly to east oops that's not right player on the left second pong now let's throw two crack actually you know what maybe we should void a suit let's get rid of dots right now we have cracks out but a voided suit is a point voided suit is number 75 one point we'll get rid of the dots four dot four dot was thrown nobody can take it nine bam we keep drawing bams we need cracks let's discard nine bam nobody can take it oh wait yes i almost messed that up pong so this would be the player on their right okay now let's void a suit five dot that's another point we can maybe pong discard ready to win i hope we can pair up though i don't like waiting for one tile let's say we pong and discard we would be sitting here with one tile i always feel very insecure that way and i've been told that's called a naked weight not attractive let's draw three bam oh this has been painful they keep drawing bams three bam nobody can take it we want dots got one score let's get rid of these nine bam is out in a pung drawing three dot oh, oh yeah i thought that was a different one one two three we need the one two three here let's discard nine crack so we have potential chow one two three four five six seven eight nine pair we can sacrifice that we're really one away from ready we need a three crack or a seven dot four mixed straight and that will give us enough points to win nine crack was thrown nobody can take it four dot nobody can take it eight crack that is a keeper finally they got one let's discard seven bam isolated potential chow or we could pung and there's a chow here's a pair that'll be a good discard right here there are two out but we don't need these at all we're going for a half flush half flush is six points but we need more score six seven eight pure double chow pure double chow is one point we need we need two more points if we're playing a half flush and we have chows we need repeating patterns there's a seven eight nine if we can get a five six seven we could have a short straight short straight is only one point all right we're gonna have to work on something for this player okay well let's just get rid of these and then figure it out this is west we need more points i was thinking our seat but we have no west okay we're going to draw one bam we paired up 
Let's discard nine crack. We do have one, two, three pair. If we had one more pair, I might consider all pung, but we're short two pair. And we have one, two, three, four blocks for half flush. I think this might need to be sacrificed. Let's draw. Seven dot. Oh, we got it. Look, we got our mixed straight almost. Okay, we're going to discard nine dot and we are concealed. We need a three crack. If we draw it, we could have fully concealed. Fully concealed is number 56, four points. No three cracks are out. Pure straight, one, two, three, almost. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have two terminal chows. That's another point. Let's draw. Last tile, second wall, flower. Eight crack. Let's discard white dragon. Two number tiles for our pair. We need to pair up one of these. White dragon was thrown. Nobody can take it. That was the last tile in the second wall. We're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know where they're getting their score from. Here we've got a mixed straight. Mixed straight is number 39, eight points. We do have two terminal chows. Did I say two terminal pung? That's two terminal chows. Number 72, one point. We also have no honors. That's number 76 for another point. So that's eight, nine, 10 points. We also will have, if we get this, mixed double chow, number 70, for another point. Okay, so that would be eight, nine, 10, 11 points. Here, all pung, dragon pung, six points. Here, half flesh, we need more score. Here, half flesh, dragon pung. One dot, we don't need that. Let's get rid of six band. You know what, if we stay concealed, that's another point. Half flesh is six, concealed is seven, short straight is eight. That's where we're gonna get it. Five, we need a five crack. There's a pung out. There's a pung of five cracks out. We need to draw that five crack and try to stay concealed to get our eight points. Did I discard? Oh, I discarded a six band. Okay, up here we're going to draw seven crack. It's this player's turn. This player could actually Kong, but I think that is not gonna help them get their score. Half flesh is six, a Kong is one, that's seven. Pung of terminals is eight. Maybe that's the way to go since we don't have access to a five crack. There's only one left. Half flesh is six, Pung of terminals is seven, a melded Kong is eight. Let's Kong. So player on the right, Kong. Getting a replacement tile? No, six dot. Up here, let's chow. There's a chow there, chow there. This would even be a short straight, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Oh, if we get a one dot, pure, pure straight. Very nice. I didn't see that until just now. 
Pure straight half flush dragon pung. We'll discard one bam. Pure straight is number 30, and that's 16 points. One bam was discarded. Let's draw. We need a three crack. Two bam. We're going to stick with it. Did I miss a dragon? Pung? There's a red dragon out. I think I might have missed that. Oh well. Let's draw. Four dot. We need, we need cracks or that north. Three bam. West. Well, that might help. Pung honors. We'll discard one bam. Okay, they're good to go. We need a one dot for a pure straight. Pair, pung, maybe. Let's draw. Four crack, one off. Five bam. White dragon, that's been thrown. East, that's been thrown too. White dragon though, just discarded. One crack, we want a three crack. Hang tight. Six crack. This player's going for all pung. We do not want to mess that up with a chow. There's a two crack out. Two crack. Drawing. West. We're playing half flush. Let's discard one dot. Ciao. Oh, they have a five, six, seven. That's not a pure straight. We needed a four, five, six. So they won't get a pure straight. They'll just have half flush dragon pung. That existing chow was a five, six, seven, not a four, five, six. We have a one, two, three, a five, six, seven, and a seven, eight, nine. So we'll just get half flesh dragon pung, which is not bad. So there's three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, discard east. We're ready to win but it needs to be the red dragon because we need two points because we're playing a half flesh. Oh, we have two, we have two terminal chows, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. So that's half flesh. A half flesh is six. Two terminal chows is seven. Dragon or even a pung of honors would be eight. So either one will give us a win and we'll make that eight point minimum. So let's go ahead and draw. Ready to win on a West or a Red Dragon. Preferably the Red Dragon, because we'll get more score. Let's draw. We need a three crack. Eight, bam. We're gonna stick with it. We want that mixed straight. North. Here, we can pung. That's a point. Two dot. Seven bam. We want a three crack here. Three dot, wrong suit. Drawing. Five dot. Eight, bam. One dot. Flush. 
flower. Maybe we'll draw that three crack with our replacement tile. That would be called out with supplement tile number 46. And that is eight points. Let's see if we can get a three crack from the back of the wall. No, six bam. That would have been nice though. Nobody can take it. Five dot. One crack. Potential chow. We need help in here. East. Discard. Two are out. Eight dot. We're ready to win. Why mess with perfection? Eight dot. Green dragon. Here, we're gonna pung. Pung. And then we'll discard. Now, neither of these are out. Let's discard six crack. There's a Kong of seven cracks out. You might think maybe someone wouldn't want to eight because there's no child potential seven, eight, nine. Now this is that naked weight, but also we have a melded hand. Melded hand is a fawn. Number 53, six points, <laughs> six points, all pung, dragon pung melded hand ready on a single weight that's going to be sweet if we can get it six crack was thrown flower two bam seven bam We want a three crack, four dot. We need an eight crack, five bam. Three bam, five crack. North, that's out in a pung. South. Nobody can take it. Nine dot. Six crack. We got child potential there. Red dragon. Mahjong by discard from player on the right of north. So I will put it like thusly. There's their pair. We'll put it over here. Concealed. So east discarded red dragon, which is nice because I think I might have missed that early in the game. Second discard. So we have half flush, number 50, six points. Dragon Pung, number 59, two points. That's eight. We have two terminal chows. That's number 72, one point. So that's nine. Then we have a flower, so 10, 10 points. Too bad this isn't a four, five, six. We could have had that pure straight. So East will pay eight points 
plus the 11 or 10. Is it 10? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the East owes 18 points. These two players pay 8. Ready to win, ready to win, long ways away. If you have a set of tiles at home and you are just learning how to play Mahjong competition rules, get out this quick reference and play solitaire so that you can study the scoring elements, also known as fawn. I have learned much by playing solitaire and playing online. If you'd like to try to play at Mahjong time, I do have 30 day VIP codes. Look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a code so you can try it out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.